Paatshala segment, Kunal, PCR, that's the put call ratio, you know, what you call, how do we, how does one look at it, what is the understanding in terms of this? Good morning, Vinny, thank you so much for that. So, you know, I always believe that to be a good trader, you have to be a very good, uh, you know, analysis of trend, but to be an expert trader, you have to understand both the aspects, the trend, as well as the contrarian part. Today on Partshala, BNS and Partshala, we'll be discussing on the put call ratio, which is a, which will give you a glimpse of how to become more of a contrarian trader and understand the sentiments of the markets. So, what is put call ratio? It is one of the, you know, the key measures to watch out for, for derived from the derivatives data, of course, which helps to analyze the market sentiment. It's a very, very important feature because when we try and analyze the market sentiment, it gives you a better perspective of how the tilt and the bent is from the overall market trader perspective. When we move on to the next uh, you know, slide, it tells you that what is the put call ratio, how, how is it derived? It's based on the open interest. Now, what is open interest? It's the number of uh, open buy or sell positions which are actually created by buyers or sellers. Put call ratios and the options data typically have to be seen from a seller's point of view. Now, we move on to the next slide which gives us a glimpse of how the put call ratio is uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, calculated. So, this is the basic simple formula for put call ratio. Uh, PCR OI that is uh, you know denominated as open interest. It's the total open interest on the puts, which is divided by the total uh, you know open interest on the call front. Now, I'll give a very simple example. Let's take a hypothetical example that the number of puts which are actually open, that means the OI of puts of a particular asset class is at 2,500. Then we look at the number of calls which are open, which is almost at 1,500. So, what is the put call ratio? As we discussed in the earlier formula, total number of puts divided by total number of calls. So then we, uh, you know, uh, try and calculate this, which means divide 2,500 divided by 1,500, that comes to 1.667. Now, any put call ratio number specifically for an index above the 1.6 mark, which means that there are more number of sellers in the put options and less number of sellers in the call options, which means the markets are getting skewed. Uh, and that's a typical point where we try and take a contra position. So any number above 1.6 for the index indicates that the markets are overbought uh, or there are too many option writers on the downside on the put uh, option side. And that's still an indication that the markets will probably get into a frothy kind of a zone. So typically the advantages or the basic advantages of put call ratio is that it helps to find out those extreme zones. So on the upside it is approximately 1.6 for a put call ratio on the nifty and on the downside it is closer to 0 0.5 0 0.6 so any put call ratio above or below these extreme points are very good opportunity to become a contrarian trader uh, thank you so much for that kunal and i'm sure all of our viewers who've actually written to us that they wanted this one on Pashala should be very happy especially amy i know that you've been asking for this for the last three weeks and there you go kunal has broken down for us uh, the advantages of uh, put call ratio and how to assess it